Hi guys, so I am back. Um, I know I have not filmed any book hauls or book reviews in like three months now. Um, I've just been really busy with work and moving and a bunch of other crazy stuff that's been going on. So um, blogging kind of got pushed to the wayside for a little bit, but I've just missed blogging and vlogging so much that I figured it's the new year, things are, you know, starting over again, and I wanted to get a fresh start. Um, today's book haul um, is going to be, um, well, it's my New Year's book haul, that's what I'm calling it, because I'm going to show you the books that I have on my book list to be read in the new year, hopefully hopefully this month. The first book that I have, and by the way, all of these books are books that I have had for a really long time. I just haven't had a chance to read them or show them to you yet. So um, the first book that I have is A Million Sons by Beth Rebus, or Revis, however you pronounce her name. I'm really not sure how, but um, this is actually the second book in her Across the Universe series, and I read the first one, Across the Universe, and I loved it so much that um, I really had to get my hands on this one. And actually, this book was a gift from the lovely Evie over at Bookish. So thank you so much, Evie, for um, gifting this book to me. I'm really, really excited to read it, even though I know I've had it for like two and a half, three months now, but I'm going to read it um, next. This is going to be my next book that I read on my blog um, for review. So um, anyway, this is a sci-fi book, if you can't tell from the cover that has like a galaxy on it. Um, and it is about a girl named Amy and she is on this spaceship called Godspeed and um, Elder, who is her friend slash kind of love interest, is now the captain of the ship. And I guess in this book they have to discover some mystery about Godspeed and its mission and figure out um, basically what is the fate of Godspeed's mission and what's going to happen to all of them on the spaceship. But even if you aren't a sci-fi freak like I am. Um, it's still really good because the story has tons of action and suspense and there's romance and it's just a really good story that you can't put down. So even if you're not usually, you know, a huge sci-fi or space fan, um, I think you would still really enjoy Across the Universe in this series. I'm really looking forward to reading A Million Suns, um, hopefully within the next week or so. So um, stay tuned for my review of this one. Okay, uh, next book on my book haul, um, please don't judge me, <laughs> because I've had this advanced reader copy, um, since, like, August. <laughs> um, it is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steifbotter. I got this arc, like, back last summer. It came out, um, last September, and I've had it on my bookshelf forever, and I really, really want to read it. I've never read anything by Maggie Steifbotter. I've heard mixed reviews about her writing and everything, but I think in general people really like her books and her writing, so, um, I'm looking forward to reading this. It's the first book in the Raven Cycle series, which is about a girl named Blue Sergeant, who is a clairvoyant, so she can sort of communicate with the dead, and I don't know, it sounds like it might be a good book, so I'm um, looking forward to reading this one in the new year as well. All right, next book that I have, um, I had actually received an advanced reader copy of this book from, just a second, let me look at the letter here, from, it's from HarperCollins. Um, they sent me an ARC and then they were nice enough to send me this absolutely gorgeous finished version of Defiance by C.J. Redwine. And I don't know if you can see this book cover, but it kind of has like this glossy sheen to it. It's like really beautiful. I've never really seen a book cover that has this before. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's like shimmery kind of. And the cover is gorgeous anyways, but I was just really, really impressed when they sent me the finished hardcover edition of this book. Um, but it is about a girl who, what is it about? Um, it's about a girl named Rachel Adams, and it says that while other girls are sewing dresses and obeying their male protectors, Rachel knows how to survive in the wilderness and deftly wield a sword. When her father, Jared, fails to return from a courier mission and is declared dead, the commander assigns Rachel, a new protector, her father's apprentice, Logan. 
The same boy Rachel declared her love for two years ago and the same one who handed her heart right back to her. So I think it's going to have a lot of romance in it, but it's also going to be kind of a like high fantasy adventure type of book, which I always love reading. Um, if you read, um, what's that book? Scarlet. Um, can't think of the author right now, but um, Scarlet was a book about... Um, Robin Hood and his band of thieves and just any kind of book that sort of set is set in like a medieval or renaissance kind of time period I know I'm gonna like so I think I'm really going to enjoy defiance and the main character has red hair So of course it's gonna be good, right? So looking forward to that one um, Okay, and then the last book that I have to show you in this book haul is another book that I've had for a while um, That was also gifted to me and I've heard such good things about this one. It is Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hoke, or Hook. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce her last name. But once again, absolutely stunning, breathtaking cover. I love the covers of all of the books in this series. So I think that Tiger's Curse is going to be really good, and I'm definitely looking forward to reading this one. So guys, um, those are the four books that I have on my New Year's to be read list. Um, I'm starting out kind of slow because I've been so behind on my reading list lately. Um, mainly though, not because I haven't been reading, I have been reading. Um, where is that book anyway? Just a second. <laughs> I have been reading. Um, it's just not a book that I chose to review on my blog. Um, I'm actually currently going through um, George Martin's uh, A Game of Thrones series. I am on the third book right now, which by the way, if you guys follow Game of Thrones and you haven't made it to the third book yet or you just watch the HBO series, you are going to be blown away by what is going on um, in this third installment of the series. It's just it's absolutely crazy. Like, I can't even believe what's going on. Um, so anyway, I am working on these books. They're each over a thousand, well over a thousand pages. As you can see, they're like huge and they take me forever to get through. Um, but they're also, they're not, um, they're not in the genre that I read on my blog, which is mainly, you know, like young adult and teen books. So that was one reason I didn't want to review them on the blog. And also I just, you know, sometimes you just want to read a book to read it. You don't want to review it afterwards too. So um, that is what I have been up to with my reading. But I'm going to try and start incorporating in actual books to review on my blog too so that I can, you know, get back into that because I miss doing it. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the new year, and I hope that you will leave me comments in the comments section below here, um, letting me know what books you guys have on your New Year's reading list as well. And if you've read any of the books that I showed you here, I'd love to know what you thought about them. So I guess that's all that I have for this week, and I will see you guys later. Bye!